Hi guys, Jessica here with another pickups video. Got a little lot of games here that I won at an auction at a thrift store. Uh, I've not, known about this thrift store for a while, but um, I just recently, last week, um, decided to go, had time to go. And I uh, went looking for some games, and lo and behold, I'm guessing they put most of their games in the auction case. Um, so I've been on three auctions, um, one, two, one auction was actually a boxed, um, Super Scope for the Super Nintendo. I bid 25 on that. Fortunately, I didn't win that, but I did win these two other lots, um, won a lot of, uh, PS2 games, all Star Wars, and then a lot of, uh, three NES games, or four NES games, and one Genesis game. So, this is what I picked up. Um, all these Star Wars games are not complete. Um, I won the auction for $15. So, about retail, what they retail for altogether, 15 bucks. So, not a, not a great deal, but didn't lose any money either. Uh, Star Wars, the video game. Just the disc. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Disc only and Star Wars Rebel Strike Squadron 3 for the GameCube. Actually, uh, I thought there was five games total, but it turned out to be two VHS tapes and some other miscellaneous Star Wars stuff. They just had a, threw a bunch of Star Wars stuff together and auctioned it off. So, got these three for 15. Next up, uh, won the other lot for 25 So I'll start out with the One Lone Genesis game, um, Animaniacs. And this actually still has the, uh, cellophane wrapping around it. Um, try to get it up here. If anyone can let me know if this is genuine, um, wrapping or not. If it's a genuine seal. Don't see why it wouldn't be. It still has the hang tab on it. But. So, that one. Also got Paperboy 2. Um, still sealed as well. If anyone knows that that's factory sealed or it's been resealed, let me know. There's the seal right there in the middle. I was a little bit too young to. Um, I remembered the NES, but I did never remember opening them, or, of course, no one really paid attention to the seal, we just wanted the games, but no one knows if this is still, this is a genuine seal or not. So. Also got, um, Puss and Boots, and, um, I did open one of these, and they're all from... The same place. They all have these green stickers, and they're actually from Kroger's, Kroger's um, supermarket when uh, they sold games. This one doesn't feel like it has the manual, but I think it might not have the it might not have the uh, foam in it either. But it's still sealed from the top, so they must have opened it from the bottom. So they did a pretty good job of not ripping or tearing anything. But definitely doesn't have the instruction booklet. I haven't opened this one because I'm scared about ripping the bottom. And I don't think it has the styrofoam piece. Next up is uh, Trog. This one I actually, this one was opened somewhat when I first got it. So I actually did open this one up. Kind of feels like the other one. Um, doesn't have the manual, but it does have the styrofoam piece. So, and it has a little silver sticker that actually says Kroger on it, so that's how I know they came from Kroger. So, no manual in that one. I don't think I don't think there's any manual in the other one. This one feels pretty thick, so I have not opened it. I'm, like I said, I'm scared to rip the bottom, but I do believe it has the manual. 
and the styrofoam piece. Still sealed from the top, so they must have opened it from the bottom. Or maybe they didn't even open it. Maybe it just um, was an extra or something. So, very likely they might not even open this one. So. so that is my little uh, haul there. Please uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. If I got a decent deal. I thought 25 was a great deal for all these. And um... Please comment below, um, share the video, and thanks for watching. Bye.